I always loved John Entwistle uh, from The Who, even though it's a more old school sound. They're just a really good, like, great emphasis for rock bass because it's not so much what they're playing, it's how they play it. There's a lot of good energy and drive with their playing. So, you know, if you just even play a simple pentatonic, like, like you know, like, like that, it's how he played it. That's not a hard thing, but the drive behind, if you play like the Ox for basic rock and roll, sounds awesome. I mean, for more popular people, like especially for getting a lot of people start off with Green Day, Mike Durant plays great bass lines. I mean, the pick style tone, also, he has a thing I don't want to pick on me right now, but he has a rotational thing with his wrist that gives a really great attack. So even if you're playing simple stuff, uh, he's really great with pick attack. Um, you know, there's a reason his lines are iconic. He has a really good sound, and he plays with a nice aggression that's perfect for punk music. So it's not about complexity at first. It's that. And then there's like a lot of good bass players like Pino Pal Palladino and, you know, John Deacon from Queen that... Again, it's not crazy stuff. Paul McCartney writes simple bass lines, but that are very nice and bouncy and supportive. So it's people that have a really great sound that you don't necessarily have to, like, you know, worry too much about that. Um, Tina Weymouth from Talking Heads, she's really great at creating simple but really sick bass lines. Um, I remember learning a couple of her bass lines for, like, intro to slap stuff where it's not that crazy, but it's perfectly tasteful, and she wrote really good mix between like disco, funk, and new wave, which is really good. So she's a great one to check out. And yeah, like a couple of those players and a lot of modern young players as well. But for like starting off, those are players that you can learn a lot of their bass lines and it just sounds solid and good and doesn't have to be crazy.